Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can create your own page transition with Elementor. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you've logged in into your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to Elementor and head over to your settings. Over in the settings, head over to features and right over here, scroll down a little bit until you see the page transition. Make sure it is activated or if it's by default, it should work. But just for this purpose, I will be setting it to active. So head over and save changes and head over to one of your pages. For that matter, I'll head over to my basic form and I'll edit it with Elementor. And over here, what you want to do is head over to your settings right over here and head over to site settings. Under the site settings, you want to navigate to your page transitions. And right over here, you can set up your page transition background color. If you want to set it to a solid color, head over and activate the classic option and head over over here until you see the color. And here you can choose your own color of your choice. I'll head over with this one just for the demo purposes. If you want a gradient color, you obviously do it the same thing as you do with the background color on any container or any element in Elementor. And right over here, the same thing applies. I won't go over with it. Now, the entrance animation could be one thing of your choice. Here you have fade in, fade in down, fade in right, and so forth. You have some options here and it's pretty nice. I'll head over with fade in and then the exit animation I'll do with the fade out. It's going to be a very simple animation. So we have the option to preview page transition. As you see, it fades in and then it will fade out. You can set up the animation duration. So it will be in 1500 milliseconds. As you can see right over here, it will be a one second and a half. So it means it would load it one second and a half and then it would fade out. You can play with the timing. I'm going to head over and keep it as it is. I'll head over to my preloader and right over here, you can set a few more options just to enhance the transition animation for that effect. So we have an animation. You can set it to circle as you can see here under the animation circle circle dashed as you can see here it's pretty nice and we can see a bouncing dots as you can see right over here it's also pretty user friendly as i think and we have a pulsing dots we have overlap we have spinners we have nested spinners, which is, I think, more to my opinion, obviously up to this date, you can say we have the progress bar and Obviously, you can play with those options, but for my own preferences, I think I'll head over with the bouncing dots. I think that's pretty good. You can also set the color for this animation, as you can see right over here under the style. You can set it to a different color. Obviously, I like the white one, but I just want to show you that you can customize it as whatever you want to. As you can see, it can be red, it can be pink, pink-ish, it can be blue if you want to, bluish, more blue, Pacific blue, and so forth. But I will keep it as a white. We have the preloader delay, so it means you can play with the delay of this preloader. So it means it will take time to load it and then it will load and so forth. You can see right over here, let's see 1200 and over here, you can also set up the size before I head over and preview the changes. You can set the size to, to be bigger, smaller and so forth, but I like it when it's 20. Yeah, I think it's good. Now we can see the preview, the page transition. Now you can see there is a delay for the animation and then it fades out. In other words, it means that we have an animation of one second and a half, which is the whole time duration of it. But now we add more time to it because we have a pretty little delay. It means that we have this animation which is delaying itself by one second and 200 milliseconds. And then we have it fade out. That is how you set it up. Now, once you are fine with what you set up, you can click the update option and then head over and exit this option. And once you're done with it, now you can also set up everything that you wanted to, but I want to show you how it looks when you're transitioning between all those pages. Let's head over to our main page of our website. So let's head over to our main page and right over here, we can see the transition already playing, but let's jump between few pages so we can see it more and on its glory. So let's head over to our shop page. As we can see, it loads. Now we have the delay of the loader and then it loads and then it fades out. So yeah, that's how you set up your own page transition on Elementor. If you want to see more videos on the matter, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any further videos on Elementor, WooCommerce or WordPress. I'll be seeing you in the next one.